What's up everybody? Tonight, I'm out for a walk. Taking a little stroll. Maybe you're like me, you use the night when it's quiet, clear skies to just get out and kind of clear your head, think a little bit. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm thinking about things, I'm thinking about fish, thinking about YouTube, thinking about you guys. When, you know, this kind of realization hit me, this kind of, call it an epiphany. <laughs> no, not an epiphany. Um, but I was just thinking and I realized that uh, I have some super weird fish. I mean, first, there's the two foot plus African lungfish down in this tank. I mean, then there's the absolutely massive gulper catfish. Then I keep walleye, which, who keeps walleye? Not oh, babies. Then down in this tank here, I have a bicher that has a bend in his back so bad that he sits like Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. None of those weird fish that I show you, however, compare to this guy. So here's the backstory on this dwarf red Oscar named Mush. I'm gonna go inside because my camera's attracting the bugs and my neighbors probably think I'm weird. I do YouTube. <laughs> Let's go inside. So let me tell you a little bit more about my main man, Mush. Mush here is a four-year-old Red Oscar. Four years old meaning he's only this big. He should be this big. But again, he's only this big. Mush was actually a very well-loved family pet. As the other fish in the tank continued to grow, Mush did not. He stayed that size. He started to get picked on. The family that had him did the right responsible thing and they took him to the local fish store and said, it's not a safe environment for him. Can you guys find him a better home? The local fish store said, absolutely. Well, I go wandering in one day and this is what I see. On the tank is written the name Mush. I ask about the name, find out that two little girls went into the store, saw him, fell in love with him, and gave him the name Mush. I figured there's no way I can change that name. It's super fitting. And to find out that two little girls gave him this name, awesome. I loved it. Well, not long after uh, my video where I, I showed you that I picked this fish up aired, I got this comment. So that family went back into the local fish store to pick this fish up, found out that he was gone, but was told about my video, watched it, and commented. And to me, that's really, really cool. So if you're watching this one, thank you for the awesome name. Mush is doing fantastic. Well, a few days after I put that video out, I then received this comment. So not only did the people who gave him his name comment on the video, but the original owners went in, asked about the fish, found out about me, watched the video, and then felt, the, felt compelled to comment. So I don't know about you guys, but to me, having this full circle and the people who were involved in this fish's life before I got him able to watch the video, I think that's awesome. I really think that just speaks to the, uh, the impact that YouTube can have. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> so Mush has been in this tank for about a month. He is well quarantined. He has no diseases. He is doing extremely well, but he's been ready for a new tank for a little while. Well, so I had originally set up this tank here, which 
the water level's low because the fish in here like to jump. Um, but I had set up this tank as Mush's tank and then was told about these little tiny Fahaka puffers at uh, Petco and I needed a place to put them. So these four little Fahaka puffers stole Mush's tank. And he was forced to stay down in this quarantine tank for a little bit longer. Well today, that is all about to change. Because you see, I set up a new tank. Let me show you. So let me give you the full tour here. Pretty simple. Piece of driftwood. Some fake plants because I don't have great luck with live plants. Black aquarium sand. Some rocks. Filter. A heater and a light. So really, really simple, nothing crazy. I wanted to make sure that uh, Mush had plenty of room to swim around, uh, but still had some spots he could kind of get behind if he needed some, uh, you know, a little privacy. So uh, I'm really happy with it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the scape. Uh, again, I know it's simple, but uh, it's kind of my thing. But uh, like I said, we're only missing the fish, so let's go ahead and uh, grab him and move him on over. Okay, so I went ahead and added a little bit of water into uh, that container that he's in to start the acclimation process. I wanna cover just a couple quick things, so stay with me here. As far as tank size goes, he's in a 20 gallon aquarium, which I, I know seems super tiny for uh, an Oscar that can get like 14 inches, but Mush is full grown. Remember, he's only four inches. He's not gonna get any bigger than that. So a 20 gallon aquarium is actually perfect for this particular fish. Mush also has some health problems. He uh, twitches, obviously his face is deformed with his mouth. That makes it difficult for him to eat. He eats great, but it takes him a while to get the food or get it down. So. Having a smaller aquarium makes it easy for me to get to the, the food to him and he will also have this aquarium to himself so he doesn't have to compete with anything for food. The last thing that I want to cover, and this is something that uh, I was actually kind of surprised to see. So I post a picture of Mush on my Instagram. Uh, the picture blew up. It also was featured on a couple other uh, really popular fish pages. And one of the things that I saw a lot of was fish like this should be killed or cold, whatever you want to say, when they're born, they have the deformities, they should be taken out of circulation. Well, I personally don't believe that at all. I think every fish should be given the chance to uh, live and survive as long as whatever is happening is not impeding their, uh, their diet or their growth or anything like that. Like that uh, bicher I showed you, he eats great. He just has a 90 degree bend in his back.
So there you can really see those uh, difficulties with the feeding like I was talking about. He saw the reflection of that frozen tilapia in the glass and then it took him quite a while to uh, actually find the piece of fish. So um, that's why I don't put him with any tank mates. But I'm excited that he's in this new tank. I think he's going to do great in there and I'll be excited to show him more often to you guys now that uh, his tank actually looks good. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this awesome fish. Mush has been a fantastic pet and uh, I absolutely love him. So hopefully you guys do too. If you have not already, give this video a thumbs up. Type a comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, if you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I have one more fish that I'm picking up this week. Uh, I will get him set up in his aquarium and then I will finally do that uh, full tour of all my fish that I keep telling you that I'm going to do. So uh, hopefully you're looking forward to that. Um, I also have a special announcement coming for something that I'm thinking about for uh, when we hit uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is uh, coming up. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until the next video, I will see you soon.